Meat Boy is back. Today we are making eggnog with high quality nutrient dense animal based ingredients. The key to this eggnog is having access to raw grass fed dairy from a local farm. If you don't have that, you know, can you go to your supermarket and make a better option than what's commercially available? Of course. But you know, the pasteurized milk from the supermarket, even though it's grass fed, you know, those pasture raised free range eggs, still not as good as something from a local farm. You know, you really get what you pay for in the case of dairy and eggs when you go to a farm. Uh, so let's take a look at the ingredients. I am willing to bet that this is the most nutritious eggnog that has ever been made. Starting with duck eggs from a local farm. Here I have six yolks and the corresponding amount of whites. You know, eggs in general, very high fat soluble vitamin content, all the minerals, all the elements, Duck eggs in particular are a bit higher in cholesterol, have a slightly different flavor. Uh, we have the dairy component is buffalo milk, two cups of milk to one cup of cream. Uh, this is buffalo cream as well. Has a very stark, opaque, white color in comparison to cow's milk, as buffalo don't store carotenoids the same way cows do, uh, but very similar flavor. Uh, for the sweetening component, uh, we have raw honey. Usually I go for local honey, but it's out of season right now. Uh, this brand is pretty good. It has, you know, like the propolis and the pollen gives a little more depth of flavor to that honey. Uh, for the seasoning components, we have nutmeg, cinnamon, as well as salt. Very classic, uh, very critical for the flavor profile of eggnog, as well as some hypothetical you know, gut bacterial benefits. You know, whenever sweets are consumed, we tend to see spices correspondingly. Uh, salt is included in some recipes, in some recipes it isn't. I figured we're going to use it today. Eggnog is usually alcoholic, uh, typically like three ounces of cognac, bourbon, Calvados, whatever you have on hand. I don't drink alcohol, so I'm not incorporating it into this eggnog. And if you're really strict carnivore, you know, you can omit the spices, you can omit the honey, you could literally just use the eggs, the cream, and the milk, and I'm sure it would taste good. Granted, the ingredients are high quality. Some eggnog recipes are heated, some are not. In this case, since we want to preserve the integrity and nutrition of these ingredients, we're going to keep it raw. Uh, so we're simply just combining stuff outside of whipping the egg whites. So the egg whites go into the stand mixer. Uh, we have to whip these to soft peaks. Every other ingredient is just gonna be combined really. So here are the egg yolks. Again, that's six egg yolks. We have a teaspoon of cinnamon. We do a teaspoon of fresh grated nutmeg. Some recipes call for clove, but I really, really, really don't like clove. So I'm not putting it in this. If you have fresh cinnamon sticks or fresh nutmeg, it really makes a difference. It becomes a lot more aromatic when you're, you're grinding it. Get the spices incorporated, put a pinch of salt in here. About a third of a cup of honey. And this varies depending on how sweet you want it. Don't wanna to add too much honey. Honey's incorporated. One cup of cream. We got two cups of milk. Now that everything besides the egg whites is mixed together, we're gonna to let this sit, let the flavors macerate, let that salt season everything. And these are gonna to whip to stiff peaks. Uh, this takes about five minutes in the stand mixer, probably you know same amount of time if you're whisking, but it's a lot more labor. As you can see, you know pretty stiff peaks, you know not really moving. And now what we're going to simply do, using a spatula, fold the egg whites into the eggnog mixture. We'll do it maybe a quarter at a time. Just want to break it up a little bit, add in a little more. And this is definitely something you want to do like before you serve it because this is not gonna be airy the next day. Egg whites are gonna go flat. We'll add in the rest of the egg whites. A little lumpy is okay. You don't wanna mix this too much and make it really smooth, and that'll just break up all the egg whites and release the air. You know what's kind of sad? I think I've only tried eggnog once in my life when I was a kid, and I didn't like it. But my dad always has this terrible Turkey Hill eggnog in the fridge. Uh, Ingredient-wise, it doesn't actually look too horrendous. You know, at least there's animal foods in it. You know, milk, sugar, cream, corn syrup, egg yolks, non-fat milk, whey, dextrose, natural and artificial flavor, nutmeg, guar gum, carrageenan, annatto, and turmeric extracts for color. So there's definitely some inflammatory components here, especially the carrageenan, you know, low quality animal products. Definitely not something you want to consume. Although I'm curious 
how close it comes to taste in comparison to what I've made today. Who knows? Maybe I won't like either of them. Uh, that being said, I'm sure adding alcohol to this makes it much better because uh, alcohol really brings out the flavoral components and aromatizes everything. Uh, so if I did drink alcohol, you know, I would have done three ounces of Calvados or something, but I'm not going to go buy a bottle of liquor just to put it in here. You know what? My parents have some Chivas in their liquor cabinet, so we will try a little bit with some alcohol in it. This is probably like, God, uh, this is probably like a 20 year old bottle or something. So first, the turkey hill crap, bottoms up. Oh man, doesn't taste right. Some like chemical flavor in there. Maybe I just don't like nutmeg. I guess we're gonna find out. So this is the nutrient dense homemade eggnog. That is so damn good. Oh my God, this is crazy. It tastes nothing like that Turkey Hill stuff, man. Nothing like it. Guys, this is slamming. This is insane. The egg white, the egg white really adds so much texture to this. Now I'm gonna try a little bit with alcohol. I'm genuinely curious to see if it makes it that much better and that'll help as a recommendation to you guys. So half a cup, I'm gonna add about half an ounce of booze here. Oh, you could really smell that scotch. Half, half an ounce of scotch and that was way too strong. Uh, let me dilute it. Honestly guys, this is much better without the booze. Maybe I would have enjoyed it with cognac or, or something, but you know, if you added three ounces of boost to this, you're not gonna get drunk off of it and it's not gonna add enough of an aromatic or beneficial component. I think the alcohol in traditional eggnog is making up for the lack of ingredient quality. But hey, try out both. Uh, that's just my opinion. Either way, this is a delicious and approachable way to get your fat soluble vitamins in. This is why I promote raw dairy and eggs so much because they're foods that everyone would eat and it's essentially the equivalent to eating those gross organs no one wants to touch, you know? Eating a whole crab, you know, eating every part of a lobster, eating liver, eating brains, you know, just chowing down on the whole animal or have some eggnog, kind of a no brainer. Uh, we also did this with an ice cream recipe, a cheesecake recipe, anything with raw dairy is really delicious, really amazing. But that being said, this bowl of eggnog probably cost me 40 bucks. So what are you gonna do? Uh, with your guys' continued support, I'm gonna try to buy a farm by next year. Uh, someone actually emailed me saying, oh Frank, you should sell shares in the farm, pull some money together. I don't know how to do that. I, I think I can do it on my own, but I I'm really hoping to be able to provide you guys with raw high quality dairy from cow, goat, and sheep. Uh, hope maybe by the end of next year. Worst case scenario, a year after that. Uh, in the meantime, you guys can go to Frankie's Free Range Meat where we have high quality nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. We do have raw cheeses and we're gonna be adding some more very soon. You can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. You guys can also reach out to me via email, frankatefano at gmail.com for one-on-one -on -one health consultations. Thanks again for joining me guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Any other recipes, let me know what you guys would like to see. We're gonna do a live stream later around 1.30, 2 p.m. Eastern time. So tune in guys, we'll have a little fun.